Forgives TV and welcome back here to the channel guys to Barcelona FIFA 20 career mode it is back career mode is here we did it in 2018 I didn't finish it didn't get anywhere near to finishing it I know that I need to do better this time and I fully intend on doing that because quite honestly guys I feel like right now we all deserve to see a Barcelona who put faith in youth who play attacking football who actually get to the latter stages of the Champions League I intend to bring all of those things to Barcelona in my managerial reign and hopefully you guys will enjoy watching it play out some of you may not like like this I know some of you have been looking forward to it but whether you do or whether you don't you don't have to watch a course this will interfere with my usual uploads but if you do want to see this take place and take shape right here it's coming right up I'm taking charge of FC Barcelona Let's see how this goes. And as you can see, guys, here, the expectations of Barcelona on FIFA 20 are completely different to how they are in real life. Because on FIFA, they actually want you to be at the very top. They want you to win no matter what. Domestic success is critical, as is continental success. Right here at Barcelona on FIFA, you've got to succeed. That's the way that it should be. That's the way they want it to be. I want it to be challenging, guys. I'm going to start here on legendary match difficulty. I've got the half length there at 4 and it's Euros, of course. We are going to be in the Champions League. I don't want any international offers. My sole responsibility is on being the coach of FC Barcelona. And all that I want to do is give you guys an exciting journey. We're going to sign some exciting players. But what we are going to do is get that Barcelona identity back, starting with the youth, putting the faith in them, putting the belief in them, and hopefully watching it all come together. An incredible success. And okay, because I am impatient, we are not going to be participating in any pre-season tournament right now. I want to get on to sorting my squad out, and then I want to get on straight in to the La Liga action, straight from the beginning. What we have to do, though, first and foremost, is look at this squad. It is a big one from Barcelona. We are going to be putting some players here up for sale. I've got to decide exactly who I want to put up and why. And straight away, you look into midfield. In midfield, we all know we're well, well overcrowded. And I've got to start here by putting Rakitic on the transfer list and exactly the same there for Arturo Vidal simply because both of those players there are getting into their 30s we can get a fee for them now and certainly I know that clubs will come in and bid for them so those two right now are the first two on the transfer list let's see if we get any offers so we do have a transfer offer here first offer coming in for Arthur not Vidal not Rakitic our first offer there is for Arthur Mello from Bayern and to Bayern I say get away we're not selling Arthur we're not selling him to so try somewhere else. Maybe Rakitic takes your fancy. We do now have a transfer offer for Ivan Rakitic from Napoli. 36.4 million euros. You know what? I want a bit more than that. It's a good offer and to be fair that would be recouping way beyond what we paid for Rakitic from Sevilla but I'm just going to try and get them up there. Just a few more million to add to the transfer kitty. I'm going to say there 39 and a half million euros. Just under 40 for Ivan Rakitic and Napoli going to accept that. Are they going to go there and take Rakitic off our hands. Let's wait and see. Yeah, they're going to take him. Rakitic is going to be on his way to Napoli as long as there he can agree those personal terms and that could be a good transfer fee there coming in for Rakitic. Loan offer now for Ricky Pooch. I was going to go straight up and delete that email straight away but you know what? Ricky Pooch is not going out on loan. The reason is, is because I'm keeping him. What I am going to do though is put some of these other youth players up for loan. Those that I don't feel can get real game time this season. Chew me there to the transfer list. Araujo there, I want to send him out on loan. He's not quite ready there to come into the first team. I'm also debating there what to do about Musa Wage, Semedo, Roberto. It's getting quite overcrowded there at right back. And I am actually going to put Roberto there up for transfer because I count on Wage. I've got Semedo, who's brilliant on FIFA. And then you've got Roberto, who really isn't suited to this game. So I'm going to see what I can get for him. Collado there going up on the loan list. You've got a lot of players already out on loan. Of course, Coutinho, Rafinha as well. Hiroki Abe is another one that I'm going to send out on loan. And Abel Ruiz there, if we can get off offers for those guys. Transfer offer for Arturo Vidal from Manchester United. They have come in with 28 million for 32-year-old Arturo Vidal. And you know with United, they're going to pay a bit more. I'm just going to put this up. I'm not going to take the mick though. I'm not going to try and lose this sale. But I'm just going to say there, 30 million, take it or leave it. And Man United have taken it. That's Vidal, 
and Rakitic, who seem to be on their way out for big fees. Rakitic has now been sold, and we do have a transfer offer for Sergio Roberto from Liverpool. That's interesting, 25 million. I feel like that's quite low, though, for Sergio Roberto, but I don't really, I don't want to get rid of him. I don't want to send Sergio Roberto to Liverpool, but like I say, Semedo, Wage in midfield. I want to use Pucho, I want to lose Alenia. So we don't really need Sergio Roberto there. And at 27 years old, 30 million, they'll take it. They are going to sign Sergio Roberto. So that's Rakitic, Vidal and Roberto all going to be going out in this window. And as you can see there, we are making some serious bank at Barcelona. Let's have a look here. Transfer budget right now, 276 million euros oh come oh, oh hang on a minute transfer offer for Luis Suarez transfer offer here for Luis Suarez oh this is big I didn't expect this I haven't put him up I didn't put him up to sale Man City have come in Pat Guardiola has waltzed into the room here 67 million I mean that's huge I can't turn that down you know what let's let's go higher let's see if they will pay 70 million euros for 32-year-old Luis Suarez. Oh, they're going to take it! Man City are going to sign Suarez. Now, again, I don't want to lose Suarez, but for that kind of money, oh, I've, got, I've got to take that deal. And I feel like now is going to be a good time, guys, just to run you through my formation, the way that we're going to play at Barcelona, especially now Suarez has been sold. This is how I'm going to line up, because on FIFA, I feel as though this is the most effective way to get the best out of our team, and especially with the attacking players, this is the way to go. 4-2-3-1. You've got Messi there, just behind Antoine Griezmann. Let me just show you the instructions here, because basically, from the back forward, I've got the back four exactly as they are, then the midfield two there, Arthur, Frank and De Jong, they're going to be providing the control. You've got Messi there who's staying forward nicely behind Griezmann and Soufati and Dembele. They've got to get in behind and then there's Griezmann leading the line in the centre forward role. And as you can see there I've got different game plans. If we need to go for it I've got a 4-3-3 there which is really attacking and I've got a number of different strategies if we need to switch things up. But just Griezmann with and Soufati with Dembele. So much pace. So much excitement. I can't wait to see how this goes. And ahead of our first game of the season against Athletic Club I have a pre-match press conference here I'm going to be sitting down and facing the media here as we head to San Mames first question how are your preparations for the debut going your debut with Barcelona well you know what I'm going to say here, we've got lots of quality, because we have. We've got lots of quality. We should be winning these kind of games. It's as simple as that. Does this team have what it takes to win the league this season? Well, the title at Barcelona, it's a requirement. You don't just try and win it. You've got to win it. A Barcelona coach... I intend to give it to you. Now, will you buy some new players? I'm going to say right now here, we are good all over the pitch. We've got a good squad. We've got good players. And that's all for today. We're ready now to start the season. And so, it all comes down to this. Away at the new San Mamés to start the season against Athletic Club, which, as we know, in real life, ended with Barcelona on the receiving end of a defeat. Here's Man Dembele starts. Coming up next, it's Athletic Club against Barcelona. And I really am excited here to make my debut as the Barcelona coach. I've got a really exciting team. I feel as though we've got so many attacking threats there. You've got Griezmann, you've got Messi in behind, you've got Dembele from the right, and Soufati. I'm so excited to use him here. He's not an ultimate team, but he is here on career mode. How will it go? How will Barcelona play? We're about to find out. It's kickoff. Ter Stegen now from the back, just over 14 minutes gone in this game. PK bringing the ball out there into Arthur Mello in that kind of area. Griezmann there centrally. Messi making a little run in behind the defence. Athletic Club are all at sea. Messi! The first goal of the Talk FCB reign is scored. You just knew it by that man. Lionel Messi puts Barcelona ahead. And to be honest, it was like clockwork. Into Griezmann there in that central role. Messi makes that brilliant run in behind. And once he was in that kind of area, there was never any doubt. It's Barca 1. Athletic nil. Ball here with Arthur into Jordi Alba getting forward. Lovely little ball there in behind. And Soufati stretching the defence. Cuts it back. Coming in is Frank and Young. What a goal that was. What a brilliant goal there. And Soufati showing his quality. Get into the byline. Brilliant ball there from Jordi Alba. The cutback is good. But what about that for a finish? Puts his foot through it. Barcelona here with a two-goal lead. What a fantastic goal that was. Frank and Young with his first ever 
Barcelona goal and things are looking good. 32 minutes gone, it's 2-0. Ansu here into Antoine Griezmann there, trying to worm his way out, but he can't quite get out there. But Arthur winning the ball back nice and high up the field. Into Griezmann now, touch out of his feet. Griezmann finishes it with his weak foot across the goalkeeper. Little dance there as he also celebrates his first Barcelona goal. But here, away in Athletic, it should be a tough game. We're making this look absolutely easy. Griezmann here, lovely little touch across his body, finish across the goalkeeper, grazed in off the post. Brilliant goal, and before half time, Barca three. Athletic now. And that there brings us to an end in that first half. And like I say, it is very, very comfortable right now for Barcelona. And it's so comfortable that I'm going to make changes. <laughs> and big ones at that. I'm going to bring on Ricky Pooch there for Arthur Mello. I'm also going to bring on Carlos Delinha to replace Lionel Messi. I'm actually taking Messi off at halftime. That's some sort of crime. But at the end of the day, it's a long season. And we've got to put some faith there in our youngsters. Pooch and Alenia. They're coming on. And it's Pooch there in midfield, who just recovers the ball nicely. He's done really well, I have to say, since coming on. Here's Carlos Alenia in midfield, looking again there to Frank de Jong. Far too much space for him. It's Athletic nil, Barcelona 4. And I don't know, guys, I'm sort of in two minds at the moment, because, yeah, I'm really enjoying, absolutely destroying Athletic Club. But are we finding it here a little bit too easy out on the field? Is legendary difficult, but maybe not going to be enough in this career? Hang on a minute. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Uh, OK, well... Well, I, st I still stand by what I say. I still find that it's been pretty easy in the game so far. But that just shows you complacency is an absolute killer. Athletic have got one back in this game, but my question still stands. We are absolutely wiping the floor here away at Athletic in what should be quite a hard game but it hasn't been the case now what should I do I'm actually going to probably in the next game turn up the difficulty to ultimate see how that goes because I don't want the whole career mode to just be one easy win we've got to have challenges and I feel like that's the most enjoyable thing for you guys to watch Here's Perez, though, just been introduced now into Antoine Griezmann. Now Carlos Perez with a chance. Oh, I thought that was going to be it. I brought him on there. Just minutes on the field. Carlos Perez very nearly scoring on his debut. Into the final moments now with Ousmane Dembele into Antoine Griezmann. Is there one more goal here for Barcelona? Alenia looking for Perez, but he can't quite get there. And that should be that there. It's Barca 4, Athletic 1, and like I say, brilliant victory, phenomenal goals. I'm really excited that we got to see Ricky Pooch, Carlos Alenia, and as you can see here, the guys are absolutely overjoyed. But in the next game, we will ramp up the difficulty just to see the difference between the two and decide how we want to continue this career mode. The post-match press conference now coming up and facing the media there. Very comfortable win, like I say. Hopefully the press will be on my side now because I've started pretty well here. How happy are you with your first win under your belt as Barcelona manager? Well, what I would say is there's more to come. You know, this is just the first game. It's just one win. You know, we've won it well, but there's a lot more to come from this team, no doubt. And I think there in terms of preparation, we're ready. We're ready for this game, just like I plan to be ready for every single game in this career mode. And following the game, guys, there it is. Luis Suarez has been sold. <laughs> Look at that transfer budget. We got 70 million there for selling Luis Suarez to Manchester City. An absolutely huge fee there that I simply couldn't turn down. 368 million. And you know what? I'm not spending any of it yet because... I want to know your thoughts. Who should I spend it on? Should I even spend it? Because we're trying to rely as much as we can on our youth players. But what would you guys do with that kind of money? Let me know in the comments down below. But now it is time for our second game of the season. All of these games, of course, are in the order exactly as they happened. It's Barcelona against Real Betis at the camp now. And like I say, guys, I am going to play this game on ultimate difficulty. Let's see how it goes. And this is going to be very, very interesting here. Our first game at the count now in real life, of course, we won this by five goals to do. And in this game, we are going to be tested on ultimate difficulty. But what we'll be hoping to follow up that first game with another good one here. Let's get to it. Messi here, starting proceedings, starting as we mean to go on. And although it's going to be an ultimate, and look, it is going to be harder, it is going to be more of a challenge, that should make it more exciting. We've got to still win this game and try and win it as well as we possibly can. Let's start by, first of all, getting the ball off Betis. Come on, guys, let's close down the spaces. Let's get a tackle and let's not fly into them, though. OK, we have the ball. We have the ball back. Here come Betis, though, with Fekir now into Laurent Moron. Fekir there making a forward run just like he did at the camp. Now, Fekir! into the box and that was a close one there Betis 11 minutes in testing us there we have to stay strong we have to stay firm 
Frankie de Jong now into midfield, out to Nelson Semedo there, bit of space on the right hand side for Usman Dembele, lays it back there to Antoine Griezmann, looking for the run of Messi, into Fatty, back to Messi, there's the first goal, Betis went close down the other end, but Barcelona respond, and I've got so excited that I've skipped the replay, but Messi there, provided by Fatty, his second assist of the season, Messi's second goal. Ter Stegen now out from the back, playing the ball into Ansu Fatty, and so much of our play going through this young man just look at the speed look at the speed of him here on the left hand side fatty again now messi pulls back in the box messi couldn't get enough on the header but fatty he's such a great outlet he can carry the ball he can get in behind such exciting stuff from him Laurent now for betis and pk there's gone to the ground we didn't get the ball frank de young though is tracking back Laurent there and into longley and that is half time We've got to half time with the lead. It has been a lot more difficult than our last game. I think that certainly made it more exciting for me. It has been a real challenge here against a good team in Real Betis. Let's go now with the second half. Griezmann here though, pressing from the front and winning the ball. That's what you can do if you press high into Messi. Hits it, oh, it's off the post. Oh, it's a great effort. Griezmann pressing high, getting our rewards. I love this strike here. I love going across the goalkeeper, going near post. And Messi there, really unlucky. Alba now looking again for Fatty. And again, all of that space. It's Antu Fatty into the area. Fatty, oh, it's a great save. What a save there from the goalkeeper. But Ansu Fati, man, it's so exciting. I'm really enjoying here playing with this youngster. And it's going to be so fun watching him grow. Is Perez, who are brought on as a sub, onto Ricky Pooch, who's also just come on. Another appearance here for him, holding off the rail. Betis press, that's what we like to see. Pooch now, looking for an opening, waiting patiently into Griezmann. Back now, Ricky Pooch! Oh, I thought that was the moment. Brilliant play there from him, so patient, nicely weighted, brilliant stuff. And Sufati again now finding space on that left hand side, he keeps the ball in as we close here into the final stages of the game, into Messi, Pooch, Messi, Griezmann again, cuts back inside, Griezmann, oh he's done it, what a goal that is, Antoine Griezmann just like he in real life against Betis, puts it home there, we've got the celebration, it's all happening here, and it was brilliantly worked there, Pooch, Messi involved, and Griezmann there cutting back inside on his left, and actually guys, isn't this much like his goal in real life. I remember him there cutting back inside on that left foot. That exact, it literally, that is so similar to the finish that he got against Betis in real life. What a moment for Griezmann. What a goal. Barca 2, Betis 0. Another win in the bag. Another good performance. And I'm enjoying myself here as the Barcelona coach. That there brings us to an end at the camp now. It's two for two from Barcelona. Messi and Griezmann getting the goals today with Ansu Fati really impressing as well. Pooch did some good work off the bench too. And onwards and upwards for this Barcelona team. And of course, time to face the media again following our win there against Betis. What have they got for us today to answer? Let's have a little look here. Coming into this one, there wasn't much between your side and Real Betis. Did you have any doubts you'd come away with the win? Barcelona always wins. Barcelona are always going to win. That's my view here as Barcelona coach. And after a comfortable win here by two goals, could it have gone differently? No, I think we could have scored more. I think today it was more difficult and ultimate, but we could have scored more, no doubt about it. And they're asking me about the goalkeeper. Griezmann and Messi have just scored brilliant goals. And they're asking me about the goalkeeper of Betis. Come on, guys, ask me some good questions. And that win over Betis there puts us at the very top of the La Liga table, keeping pace there with Real Madrid, who've also won their opening two games. And certainly, there's lots to look forward to coming up, of course, in episodes to come. We then go to newly promoted Osasuna, and certainly then looking into September, there's some big, big games there. Valencia, Dortmund, Granada, Villarreal, Hitafe as well. And what I really want to ask you guys, along with how I should spend that big transfer budget, but do you think now that in episodes to come, I should stick? with ultimate difficulty make it more difficult make it more challenging but let me know in the comments down below should i continue on legendary or 
on Ultimate. I will see you soon, guys. I really do hope that you've enjoyed this episode. And it's just the start. It's just the start of this journey. And I hope many of you guys will continue here to join me on it. And if you did enjoy this video, guys, I don't usually say this, but please do leave a like on this specific video, just because then I can gauge if you did like it, if you did enjoy it, if it is something that I do need to continue and try and really upload this more often. I will see you soon. I'm sure with more episodes. But until next time, as always, Vesca, El Barça. Hey,